Mr. Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate being here today, and I appreciate those kind words about staffers having been a staffer. I'm a retired colonel in the Air Force with four assignments at the Pentagon, which is sort of more assignments than any uh, self-respecting pilot would want to admit to, but, but it was important work, and, uh, and I, I believed in it. Uh, it seems to me that, uh, that this commission has worked hard and worked honestly and openly uh, dealing with the problems that you have, and that is dealing with the nuclear material waste uh, that is out there. Uh, my concern is that I didn't see anything in the report that addresses trying to avoid that much nuclear waste. I, too, am, uh, am astounded by what I have heard and learned about Lifter, the liquid fluoride thorium reactor. And I saw some of you kind of smile when it brings up, and that, that does concern me a little bit. I'm not sure what you've heard. We can study endlessly various things. My first assignment out of Air Command and Staff College was in doctrine, concepts, and objectives. And we were known for these esoteric pieces that had a four-year study followed by a five-year study followed by a few nuances here that went on to something. But also that came out with new leadership out of that. General John Pouste came in with a make it happen kind of an attitude. And out of the doctrine shop came the A-10, the airplane the A-10, which we have in the inventory today for close air support. It's been a tremendous asset. So there are things that, that studies uh, can do if there's a focus uh, put to it. I would like to see if this, this commission to recommend to DOE or DARPA or someone to take some hard looks at the uh, liquid fluoride thorium reactor. Uh, pr prove it wrong. I've heard some others say that. Uh, what are you hearing about lifter that's not? What are you hearing about the molten salt reactors that's not there? But what I am also hearing, and if you haven't heard this, that a PhD out of Drexel University, a fine school, uh, is heading up the Chinese uh, uh, lifter program, molten salt reactor program, and he's very well connected with the Chinese family. Uh, if I know that and you don't, I, I would be concerned, especially if we're talking about American leadership and something. If lifter consumes 99% of the nuclear material, consumes 99%, it only has 1% left over. Instead of a light water reactor that consumes 1% and has 99% left over, that would certainly seem to me to make the, the, the problem of finding safe nuclear storage a smaller problem, uh, at least, uh, in volume, if not anything else. Uh, I, would, I would ask this, this commission to please take a look at something that is safe, something that operates in one atmospheric pressure, it's not going to blow up on you. That is passively safe and that if, if it does lose power to it, the freeze plug uh, and the thing uh, blows out and it just, it, it just melts into a, uh, a vessel of salt, it's passively safe in other words. That there are a lot of attributes that there are people who can talk to you uh, and perhaps challenge some of the other things you may have heard about it. And I would ask that that, that be done and DOE take a look at it. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Colonel Bennett.